What is going on, you guys? I'm Jesse here. Ignore this monster of a machine. Behind me, more on that in a future video. But if you're anything like me, you're probably stuck at home looking for something to 3D print. And if you've looked at Thingiverse in the last handful of days, you've probably noticed it looks a little bit different. And by different, I mean, not that it just has a new UI, but it does not work whatsoever. I did a video similar to this about a year ago where you could install an extension. It would improve the performance of Thingiverse. Yeah, forget all of that. The site's basically broken. So what I want to do is provide you with nine alternatives to Thingiverse that you should be looking at right now. So let's check it out. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna give you guys nine alternatives to Thingiverse and just to kick things off so you don't have to watch this entire video to see those alternatives. If you're just looking to get in and get out, I'll have all of those listed right here along the side, as well as I'll have links down below to every single one of these that I'm gonna talk about here today. The number one source that I wanna mention that if you're not already, you're absolutely crazy and it's Patreon. There are so many amazing designers out there. I'll have a link to a few of the ones that I'm particularly following or supporting there is just an incredible amount of amazing skilled designers out there please go out and support the community of folks that are actually designing files if you have your own patreon and I'm not already subscribed to you and you provide files you design files and you think it might be something that I'm interested in feel free to leave a comment down below don't link to your patreon just you know, or maybe try to, I don't know, I'll try to approve the links. I think anytime somebody links something, it automatically gets hidden in the comments. Thanks, YouTube. Well, anyways, let's move on. Number two on the list is one that I wasn't really familiar with until I started posting about this online over the weekend, and that is Yegi.com. This is a site that allows you to search for STL files across the internet, across multiple websites, including Thingiverse. So I was able to actually find some of the files that I was looking for. I was looking for an iPad stand that I could print for my iPad Pro as I'm trying to now learn some ZBrush and have this angled a little bit. So it's a, a low profiled print that I could use a, a, a stand for my iPad. And of course I couldn't get in Thingiverse. So I went to Yegi and then found a link over to the next one on the list. And that site is pinshape.com. That is where I ended up finding this low profile iPad stand. I actually have a file that I've designed and printed and put the files up on Pinshape as well. They've been around for quite a while and have a huge library of files for you to work with. And again, all of these that I'm gonna mention here are just great alternatives for you to poke around and find different files because designers aren't necessarily posting across all of the platforms. They might pick and choose one or two that they're interested in. Number four on the list is one that you're probably already familiar with and it's myminifactory.com. I've mentioned them in a variety of different videos. I find a lot of my files over on there. I also find a lot of great new designers that I've never heard of before over on My Mini Factory. One thing that's great about them as well is that they have a shop interface where they're helping designers sell their files through My Mini Factory and the designers get a cut of those uh, said files. And they've also incorporated different brand partnerships with other companies where they offer exclusive files directly through their website. Not to mention, they also partnered up with Elgu and provided a My Mini Factory exclusive Elgu Mars Resin 3 printer. It's pretty cool. Next one up on the list is Cults 3D. This is a site that I tend to forget about that's out there, but again, it has a great resource of different designers that are providing files out there. If you go to their site right now, you'll see 3D Zip Guys Batman Beyond. 3D printable action figure, I think I'm gonna have to pick that one up. And it's one of these sites that is allowing designers to actually sell their files. So you can find a mix of free as well as files that you have to buy. And uh, this one in particular is one that I'm really, really needing to print. I actually have a few of his other files that I've started printing and then never got around to finishing. I have a really bad habit of printing things and not finishing them and then seeing something else that I need to print and run off and start printing that and then see something else. It's a, it's a vicious cycle that I'm stuck in. Next up is my boy Nico over at NicoIndustries.com. If you are into cosplay related files, 
he not only has a Patreon where you can get files through his Patreon through a monthly uh, subscription there, but if you're interested in buying a full set of armor or a specific helmet or even now statues he's getting into, you can find that over on his website. There is so many awesome, awesome cosplay files for you to have. He also has an amazing community over on the Facebook groups there. I'll have links to all this stuff down below, but Nico does an incredible job with these files and supporting the community. Anytime you buy something directly from him, he almost immediately shoots you a video saying thank you that he's still able to do to this day, which I'm just blown away by. I've already lost count of where we're at, but the next one on my list is Fab365. You might not be familiar with this site, but you're more than likely have seen a lot of these files over on the social medias where it's these print and place robots or vehicles or the Tesla truck that you can actually print all in one place and then they fold and snap together. Some of the times they have articulation built into them. Again, it's just a really wild thing for you to be able to download and run off and print. And it's just one of these sites that if you're looking for something new and interesting to print, I'd highly recommend checking it out. All right, and finally, the last one on the list is Prusa Printers. That's right, Joseph Prusa, the guy that makes those crazy 3D printers within the last year or so, has started up his own file site to sort of rival Thingiverse, and it performs really dang well. <laughs> uh, not only that, he not only has the actual STL files or OBJ files that you can download and print, but in some cases, they actually have the, the actual print files that you can you know, if the person's designed it and has the actual print file, you can work right off of their print file loaded into your Prusa printer. By the way, it doesn't only work with Prusa printers. It's freely open. You can download those STL files, run it through any of your slicers of choice and print it on those machines. And again, it's a really nice site and really easy to work with. That's a big one compared to Thingiverse. Again, I don't know what in the world Thingiverse was thinking with everybody being stuck at home. Hey, let's, I got a great idea. Let's roll out a new UI that focuses on ad performance versus actually getting the content and the files back out to the users and you know forget using the filters the filters don't even work on it i don't even know what the world they were thinking i would prefer the old horribly designed site at least it loaded it was just extremely slow and painful to work with but it worked this one not so much so this was nine alternatives to Thingiverse. Hopefully you guys liked it. If there's some other site that I have not mentioned that you prefer working with, let me know down in the comments and then maybe I can just add it to one of the links here or in the description, uh, all that good stuff. Hey, hopefully you guys are staying busy. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. Make sure to stay home uh, with all this craziness going on here. Just wanna say thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now.